So Ghana has been without a national carrier since the Ghana International Airline collapsed in the year 2010. The Ghana Airways company collapsed because the airline wasn't well managed and that ended the airline in a heavy debt. By the way, if you really want to know how and why the Ghana Airways collapsed, then we have a special video about that and you can watch it by clicking the first link inside this video description so that you understand how the Ghana Airways collapsed. So learning from that experience, this current government is trying to make a proper comeback by re-establishing a national airline, but they are starting with renovation of all regional airports in the country. This will help by providing adequate facilities such as runway and handling facilities necessary for the national airline to conduct their businesses and to make it easier to travel from one region to another, which will also reduce the heavy traffic in our cities. So in this video, we would like to share with you the purpose of the renovation and work in progress of some regional airports so far in the country. But before we start, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more Ghana developmental videos like this. Thank you very much for liking. Now let's get started. In September 2015, the African Development Bank issued a 120 million corporate loan to the Ghana Airport Company. And that loan has helped finance several infrastructures expansion and development of some regional airports in the country. According to the newly appointed board of directors of the Ghana Airport Company Limited, this regional airport expansion will help position Ghana to become a regional and global airline traffic center. And so far, these are the main airports the country is working on. One, the Kumasi International Airport. The Kumasi International Airport was used to serve as a military base until the year 1999. It was converted into a domestic airport and was declared an international airport in the year 2003. It is now the second busiest airport in Ghana and its expansion project comes with two phases that are phase two and phase three. The phase two project started in the year 2018 and it includes the construction of a new terminal buildings to handle 1 million passengers per annum, two boarding bridges, a road networks, a perimeter fence, a substation and a parking lot among others. The Kumasi International Airport expansion project has an estimated cost of £66,350,000. The phase 3 expansion project involves the extension of the existing runway pavement from 1,981 meters to 2,320 meters, construction of a new taxi link and two parking stands, an air traffic control building and a fire station among others, with an estimated cost of £58,900,000. Both phase 1 and phase 2 have a 93% completion rate and they are currently served by two domestic airlines, African World Airline and Passion Air. the Tamale International Airport. This Tamale International Airport was found as a main advanced operation base for troops during World War II. In September 2014, work began on the upgrade and expansion of the Tamale International Airport and is now expected to be completed by the end of August this year. The project includes the construction of a modern terminal building designed for annual passengers of 400,000 capacity. The airport comes with a VIP lodge, two boarding gates, four self-service check-in kiosks, eight check-in decks, airport office, commercial retail areas, a multi-purpose terminal to include hard travel facilitation, and a five kilometers road network among others, with an estimated cost of 70 million US dollars. The Tamil Airport is currently the third busiest domestic airport, and it is currently served by two domestic airlines, Africa American World Airline and Passion Air. 3. The Sunyane Airport This airport was built for the use of Allied Force in 1942. However, before the end of the war, the airport was abandoned. But in the year 1969, the Bujia government saw the need for an airport for the good people of Sunyane. So he started construction and they completed it in July 1974. In line with the Ghana Airport Company Limited program to expand and upgrade all airports, the Sunyane Airport Terminal Building has been expanded. 
expanded. Scope of work includes the expansion of the runway from 1,280 meters to 1,400 meters, construction of an apron to accommodate one medium-sized aircraft, construction of internal rows and renovation of the terminal buildings. The progress of work to date is about 97%. And finally, number four, the Wa Airport. The Wa Airport is the fifth busiest commercial airport in Ghana. In the year 2021, about 4,696 passengers pass through the Wa Airport. The Wa Airport has a runway length of 2,000 meters and a width of 45 meters, thus enhancing its capacity to host medium-sized aircraft. The airport also has arrival and departure hall, the control tower, staff bungalow, and the proposed site for construction of new terminals. Currently, Passion Air operate daily flight from Accra. These regional airports will be very helpful by stimulating income, tourism, and employment. They can also help to reduce heavy traffic on our significant roads. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Sheriff Haruna. Have a joyful day and see you in our next video. Macrao. Yeah.